Hey everybody, Chad Boyle, real estate agent, Atlanta, Georgia. So on this video, what I'd like to show you is how I have my calling lists and groups set up in Mojo. Uh, I've done many iterations of it, and I think this is kind of where I'm at right now with it, and it kind of works out best for me. It's the most efficient way um, for me to organize my data and who I'm calling, and you know, really leveraging what Mojo offers in lists and groups. So here's kind of how I've arranged mine. So, you know, like you see in Mojo, they have properties calling lists, there's calling lists, and then there's groups. So we have that as well, and that's what I fully utilize. So just like you see on in Mojo in the uh, data and dialer tab, you have the three sections, properties calling list. So this is where all of the expired data, the FISBO data that gets fed into. In my case, I get my data from Vulcan 7. It's automatically populated uh, into Mojo for me. Uh, so, you know, like Bob Leffler says, every day they're making more of them and it just magically is in there when I log into Mojo every day. So that's where I call my, I have kind of three um, lists that I call from. One is expired. Second is withdrawn. And then the last is FISBOs. So, Second, my calling list, this is where, and I'm just going to go over where I spend most of my time because I have some different calling lists like for referrals or buyer leads, but where I spend most of my time is cold calling um, and that's where I use the calling list for. So I have uh, one calling list that's called cold calling. And in there I have like 40,000 phone numbers and um, I use um, the, the feature in Mojo to where I can create a, a sub list and it's, um, those sub lists are created by zip code. So I have one cold calling list and then I have sub lists by zip code. So that way I can just kind of break those down and into you know, 5,000 you know, record buckets to call through. Um, also calling lists I have what I call my people farm and this is where these are maybe people I've talked to one time or had just a brief conversation with them and I don't really know if they're motivated to sell or if I really need to follow up on them or maybe I just don't want to waste postage on them. So I leave them in this people farm and I'll schedule a time to follow up. Maybe it's a time where I can get more information from them or maybe they rushed me off the phone, said, just call me back in 30 days. And so of course I'd cut that time in half and then call them in two weeks. But um, then I'm, at that point, what I'm hoping to do is to be able to get them um, actually get them move them into one of my prospect buckets and so kind of these two using these two categories here the properties calling list and the calling list that's the big group that I'm calling through and what I'm trying to do is identify prospects out of there for, for people who I'm either going to set an appointment for right now or that I'm going to identify them as a lead and then I'm going to um, f set a follow-up call with them using you know Mojo. I'm going to set that on the calendar so that way it doesn't fall through the cracks. So this is where I'm going to spend most of my time and I'm looking for people in here to move over into this groups part. And so I use groups in a way it's the fearless agent system and it aligns with um, that system and so I have different groups and I know they um, get a postcard every so often. So 
if I talk to somebody in one of these lists and they say, you know, hey, we're not, uh, yeah, we're thinking about selling our house. Um, it's going to be in three months. Uh, give us a call back in two months and then we'll talk about it. So I'd call them, I would call them back in a month, schedule that time, and then I would put them into a category that I call um, PNXT. So these are people that are, they're leads and they're in the early initial stages of getting into my postcard system. So these people in PNEXT, they're all the people that are getting ready to go into my postcard system and they're going to get a postcard once a week for eight weeks and then every other week until they list with me or die. So PNEXT, once you're in PNEXT, then you're in P new. From P next, you go into P new, and P new is these are new prospects. So these are people who are getting they're in that first eight week cycle of getting the postcard every once a week for eight weeks. Then once they go through the eight weeks, they go into the next group, which is the PROS, and this is where they get it every other week or twice a month. Uh, until they list with me or die. So basically, this is these are kind of the main ones. There's a couple other ones that I have, uh, but this is what this is kind of the progression that you would go through. So again, kind of just to summarize, what I'm doing is using calling lists and just dialing through expires, withdrawals, FISBOs, uh, cold calling into zip codes where 70% or more of the sales in those particular zip codes are houses that were built in 1995 or before and uh, people farm these are people I've talked to once I don't have enough information to know if I should you know there is uh, they are a lead or I, maybe I don't want to waste postage on them so I keep them in here and I need to follow up with them to get some more information or to determine later on if I am going to mail to them or not and so I'm going through here to find people to put into my groups and again they go into P next once once I've find out they're a lead, there's somebody I want to mail to, they go in here, then once they start the postcard system where they get, uh, the first step is they'll get the postcard once a week, every week for eight weeks, they are assigned a PNU, and then once they go through the eight weeks, then they'll become a prospect, and then they'll just get the postcard twice a, every other week, twice a month, um, until they list with me or die. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing here, and this is how I use Mojo to do that. Another thing that Mojo, and I'll go into a little bit more detail in another video on this, but Mojo will separate this out because, you know, these people here, the P new, they're going to get the postcard every week. So I utilize the um, um, the mailing labels function in in Mojo where you can highlight um, this group and then say you want to print the mailing labels and then I have the Avery labels I put them in my printer and it prints off that way I don't have to hand write them um, same thing with the prospects they get it twice a week so you know one, one, one week I'm doing both of these the next week I'm doing just the P news so it helps me to manage my postcard mailing by being able to print out my postcard labels but I'll go into more detail on how I use groups in a different video so that's how I have my mojo set up, utilizing lists and groups. Uh, hope this was helpful. If it was, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There'll be more mojo videos on here. Uh, more videos coming about, you know, making that transition from, you know, a, a job to a full-time real estate agent or maybe you're part-time and you want to become full-time. Uh, there'll be more videos on that. Uh, last reminder, tomorrow, August 29th, 1 p.m., will be the Mojo webinar with Colt Lindsey and Cody Barton. So sign up for that and see me on there. Um, if you, I can do anything for you. Um, find me on Facebook. Send me a Facebook message. You can give me a call or text 678-761-2493. Thanks, guys.